Welcome to Spiritual Rebirth Tarot. I'm Madeline and I'm excited to uh, do a reading today. It's the uh, 22nd of July and we are asking um, our angels to come to us as a, an angel number 22 and there's a lot of uh, balancing and wisdom that comes with this number. We're also in a new moon in Cancer, which is a time of emotions. And uh, so I'd like to look at um, what type of messages there, there are for us um, today. And if you enjoy these readings, please subscribe to the channel and share the videos with your friends. I also do uh, private readings. Um, for a nominal cost and these are at no charge for the readings on YouTube. So this is a general reading uh, so some will resonate with you and some will not. And so go ahead and take what will be beneficial to you in this reading today. Okay so I'd like to start with the animals. We have the canary sing your own song and um, the turkey give with gratitude and grace. So um, as, as you, you know, as a canary will uh, sit in its, its cage and yet it sings its own beautiful song. And it, it, could, have a, it could have a fairly hard life, but it doesn't forget who it is. And so our authentic self can come through no matter where we are. And part of that authentic self um, gives gratitude and praise for the things that we have. So as we express our gratitude uh, for the gifts that we have been given in our lives, um, we will we will be able to um, to soar. And it's important both uh, to give and to receive. So don't be afraid to give. Because, you know, sometimes we have this feeling inside of us. We're like, oh no, if I, if I give too much, um, there won't be any left for me. Or if somebody else is doing well, you know, go ahead and praise them and be grateful for how they're doing because it really isn't a competition. You know, I think that when I was a dentist in the dental field, I often felt a competition that, well, if I, you know, if someone else was doing well around me, that I wouldn't be doing well myself. And um, that the reason I wasn't doing well is because there was too much competition. However, if I was really offering the service that the patients in the community needed and what they wanted, it didn't matter the competition. Um, the success was there. The bounty was there for me, um, even in that situation. So... Um, self, self mastery and rebirth. So, uh, rebirth is, is one of my, my favorite cards. I think I ended up getting that two or three times in a row one time. It's a two. So like today it's a 22 and self mastery has to do with the, um, solar plexus. So, the solar plexus is in the very center. It's the same color as our canary. And um, the, uh, the, the root or the, uh, the base, the very base, is the uh, rebirth. And that's the same color as our turkey. So as we're giving gratitude, even for the things, you know, gratitude and grace, even for the things in our life that are challenging and difficult, you know, we may go through a time that almost feels like a, a death, but a rebirth will come. So if we take a look at this card, we have the, um, 
you know, the beautiful, the butterfly that's kind of hidden within this uh, blue. And so as we, as we look deeply, we can see the butterfly is the transformation. So although the coloration is very dark and kind of almost uh, sad and gloomy in some ways, the joy that's coming out of it um, can be quite immense because the uh, beautiful blooming and blossoming uh, creature that we have here, which is the butterfly. And in, in this one, um, you know, th through the, through the, the, uh, the proper rotation, the proper energies within the solar plexus, which is at our center, um, the energy is able to pulse out into all of us and, um, help us to have that real sense of who we are. And it's interesting, the self-mastery could be both understanding yourself and also having a good uh, willpower and sense of self which would go right along with the canary to uh, sing your own song to not be afraid of who you are and to show forth your authentic self and so those go nicely together and so now let's see what the uh, tarot has to say today for us So I think we're going to go for six cards for the 22nd of July. What, what messages do our angels want to give us for the uh, 22nd of July? So what, what messages would our angels like to give us for the 22nd of July? So, you know, as we uh, master, you know, part of the uh, rebirth is the self-mastery and the authenticity. So, it kind of uh, goes, goes together there. So. Okay, so death. King of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Nine of Swords, Ten of Cups, Hangman, Three of Cups, The Horned One, and the Two of Swords and the Queen of Cups as the uh, Soul card. So the the over the underlying energy of the reading is a uh, maturity in um, romance and love and uh, feelings and emotions. And so sometimes it's hard for us to really express ourselves. Um, and to express our, our true selves. But um, this card is talking about kind of an, an overall energy of the underneath, the underlying thing you may not realize is you have had some growth in the area of emotions and those are growing. So, um, in, in in your life there is an ending happening anytime something is coming to an end something else is coming to a beginning now if we look at this in a kind of a large context for the whole collective um you know some of the the great stresses in life um hopefully are coming to an end uh, maybe our acceptance of some of these things you know that um there's going to be a new normal with the, the coronavirus for a while there's going to be a new normal with um 
you know, how, how people are feeling in the world and having uh, human rights and human advantages. And um, a lot of things are coming to an end. And at the same time, they're coming into a new beginning. And so, you know, the white, the white dogs are rushing into a, a new, a new place in life and they're finding a new direction. Um, as the uh, end has come. Now, the thing that will help with that is a moving forward into um, passion and creativity. So as, as this ending is coming in your life, you will be able to move forward into more, um, you know, move, move in more directions. So you can see that the, de the death card, you know, the, the horse is more still. Now it's beginning to take up pace, move, and you're having an energy of a fiery passion and direction. Um, you still aren't really seeing the full picture around you because you're so focused on where you're going. You know, these, these dogs, some are looking back, some are looking forward, but in this case, you're pretty much only looking in one direction and going uh, forward in this one direction so as you're moving forward um, you're moving away from some of these things that have been you know in your mind this is the crown so in your mind uh, you've had a lot of thoughts so these sores kind of can represent thoughts so a lot of thoughts have been coming in especially at night in your dreams and some of those thoughts have been bringing you down um, having some fear having some sorrow and uh, sometimes we have to face face our fears in these thoughts and as we face face the fears recognize they're there and then move our thoughts in a new direction so this is moving away so as the the new uh the new passion the new direction of your thoughts is moving away from the despondency and the fear and the uh the the fear and the dread and um it's you know keeping her up at night or she's having uh rough dreams and these thoughts are plaguing her so this um, new energy that is coming into you as part of this ending as you're ending those thoughts and going into a new direction a new thought direction and then in the base is more of the I mean, this is perfect because the thoughts are in the crown which is the top the top of you your crown your head and then the base or the feet or the ground is the pentacles have to do with the earth or the earth signs they have to do with the earth they have to do with monetary material and so you have plenty you know all around you everywhere you look you know there's grass and trees and life and everything is growing and yet you don't see any of that you know you're walking away from the, the plenty going uh, toward the storm not seeing what's there and so it's a sense of lack a sense of not having what you need to have so once again you're moving away from that your thought your new thoughts and your new direction is pointing you and your new energies are pointing you in a new direction so this is kind of you know this again this is um walking away from it you know this this change is coming and the, the change in your thoughts walking away from a sense of lack into a sense of of passion and direction so as you walk into this um, new this new direction you're also walking away from the past the four of cups and the uh, the four of cups, you know, she she she's sitting here with with her emotions, 
and I, I love this this card because you know this, this girl is sitting in contemplation um, so in the past you've been in contemplation you've been sitting in your emotions and yet they in a way they're separate from you so you've been having a hard time connecting to them so something is keeping you away from your emotion and keeping you from that connection so take a look at what may be in your life that's holding you back from this connection. This, this connection of the of your emotions and how you're feeling in the world is being given to you. So, you know, in order for you to to sing your own song and to have the authenticity that you need in your life. Um, and to have that uh, self self mastery and to um, really um, be able to have gratitude and grace, um, you need to be able to see these and feel these emotions, and then um, to to walk. I mean, to be able to walk away from them and to have better thoughts and better feelings. Or better emotions so um, one of the people that I get to listen to a lot she talks about the difference between feelings and emotions feelings are on the inside and they're really what's actually going on there what's guiding us they're singing our own song emotions are just the reactions that we have to that so it might be that your feelings are here but your emotions are getting in your way and so this outward display of anger is getting in the way of really understanding why am I feeling angry or the outward display of, of sadness or even of joy, you know, knowing, you know, why and how, you know, what joy am I feeling because there's uh, something in the way. So as you are moving into a new state of mind, um, you are putting aside, you know, your, your thoughts that are plaguing you, walking into a new thought pattern. You are putting aside your, your fears that you don't have enough. And um, you're, you're uh, being able to grasp and take hold of the, um, the, uh, the feelings that are there waiting for you. So as that takes hold, and as your uh, feelings mature in your life and you become more and more the Queen of Cups and able to identify what's going on inside of you and not just in the external world but in the internal world, you will be led into the future card, which is the Ten of Cups, which is like the ultimate in feeling of joy and love and happiness it could be, you know, falling in love. It can be um, having a family, uh, bringing together our friends in joy and unity, uh, bringing within yourself, uh, marriage within yourself of your um, masculine and feminine, and that that ultimate joy in your life and the the rainbow, you know, of um, happiness. When I think of a rainbow, I think of the, the promise that's given to us of um, happiness in our lives. And also, uh, you can also think of the uh, chakras, you know, the, uh, the rainbow, the rainbow of chakras that are, that are in your body and the, uh, the mastery, the self, the self mastery the um the solar plexus has to you know anywhere from laughing and humor to willpower and personal power and all of those things being brought into your life in a state of of joy and um the way that you are being seen right now is the hangman so the the hangman um, is is hanging in place. They're in a stalemate. 
And I think most of us are in a stalemate in some way right now. And we might be being held back from having large parties. We're being held back from, um, you know, going to the store as much as we would. And all of these things, you know, having church in the same way we used to. Because, um, because of, you know, the, the virus and the other things going on. The thing I love about this um, particular hangman is that he is not hanging upside down. He's actually holding onto a golden bowl and has that real sense of just calm waiting and very watery. So he's, he's intentionally hanging there, holding onto material wealth being surrounded by his emotions. And so bringing together that wash of emotions, feelings, intuition, direction, both in the material sense and the spiritual sense, and pulling that, um, that, that true sense of um, wealth into him. So we could sit here in the hangman because our government's telling us to. Or we could sit in the hangman because we want to. And so as we, we hold on um, and we, we hang here in, in a stalemate, in quietness, in solitude, we can use this opportunity, this time, as a rest and our peace and the, the world is offering you um you know ce celebration uh, with friends again in an emotional type of state learning things about yourself that have been hidden so the moon is here your friends are can be helping you to learn more about your feelings and those feelings that have been hidden. And so that's what you, uh, your friends are here to offer you help. So they're helping you in this contemplation. So there are many ways that our friends can help us, even though we can't get together and have, you know, it's our usual things. We can, you know, have uh, Zoom meetings, talk on the phone. Today I was doing a, a yoga session with a friend that teaches yoga um she's over in uh santa rosa california and she's amazing and um you know so getting to work with with her and here i'm clear over here in albuquerque and she's over in uh, santa rosa and just to be able to work together is so far apart and so bringing things that are hidden to light you know, again, bringing things that are hidden to light and doing that with the world around you, with your friends and by yourself in solitude. And so as you do that, um, you can focus in on this uh, sense of what is really going on. What are your natural tendencies? So there's the, there's the, um, the uh, wolf here and the wolf uh, brings together um, takes uh, knowledge and helps you turn it into wisdom and so maybe in this time you're starting to collect a lot of knowledge you know as you are hanging and have that knowledge turn into wisdom you know ha bring in the wisdom of the natural world spend time in nature, uh, bring, bring into you uh, the understanding of the primal self, the, the, the past lives, the past energies that part of what you are today. And that will help you to identify more of these emotions. It'll help you to be more of that authentic, the authentic self that you want to be. So in this, um, this time of um, contemplation, so this, this day of July 22nd in this evening as you're sleeping, you know, bringing together the knowledge that, that you have 
you know, brought together in the last few months, creating wisdom. And so in this card, you know, the, the man, is, his face is pretty much covered. He's probably blind. The, uh, the wolf is hiding his eyes. You know, he's blind. So there are things that they're trying to find in their minds. They're, they're meditating. They're, they're going deep inside their primal selves um, to find what is hidden. And so as they do that, they learn to be able to be blind. And so, you know, even though she's blind, she's holding the truth. You know, she's blind partly so that she can see what is hidden. There's water all around her. There's the moon. It's all having to do with the energy of, of feelings and emotions. And she's, she's pulling together that sense that once... Once she's comfortable in this blindness, um, in the blindness of the outside world, she's able to see inside and to follow the, the energies and the um, intuition that's inside her heart, and to follow the feelings that are in her heart. And that will help her to come to a, a rebirth and a new, a new beginning. So as this work, as this year comes into the second half, uh, we can be reborn into a greater um, self self mastery and a greater sense of um, singing your own song and a gratitude for what we have. So I would like to I would like to end with. A message or a thought um, from the uh, wellness deck from the um, Abraham Hicks Esther Hicks uh, group and Nothing is more important than that I feel good. Don't do anything that you don't really want to do. Keep yourself in a place of feeling good. Reach for the thought that feels better and watch what happens. So as you're, you're going from life, um, you know, turn away from the, the fearful, anxious thoughts. Turn away from the thing that's holding you back from where you need to be you know turn away from this feeling that there just isn't enough and that that you you wish you had a lot more and move into the the feelings that that you need to have in the place that you need to be so reach for the thought during the day whenever you start to get down reach for the thought that feels better than the one you're thinking right now. So if you're thinking, man, my life sucks, think, you know, my my life rarely sucks. <laughs> no. um, think for the thought that feels better and watch what happens. Oh, my life doesn't suck today. <laughs> so, um, you know, think for, slowly go towards something better. And you can see the, the fruit that will come from those positive thoughts. So um, I pray for you today in this the 22nd of July that you have the uh, blessings that you need as you go forward and um, take care.